Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. It's July 6, 2018, and today we're going to talk about people cookers, microwaves, lasers, infrasound, ultrasound, and all of those directed energy weapons. Um, this is going to be a shocking topic. Um, you guys probably haven't ever heard me talk about I actually talked about this quite often on my last website resonated.net before climateviewer.com was ever a thing and I wanted to revive something from the past and uh, let you guys really dig into that let me um bring that up real quick so before we get started just want to mention this is an art articles already posted on climateviewer.com um, everything over there is open source, free of charge. I only ask that if you uh, want to support this message, get it out there. Um, please do so on my Patreon by giving a monthly donation or a one-time donation on my PayPal. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, that's my only source of income at the moment. Um, and I thank you all who have supported me so far. I will continue to do my best to spread the word about some pretty crazy topics that most people don't dare touch. So tonight, um, this is a pretty epic one. I've been holding on to this for quite some time. Uh, you know, I first wrote this in uh, 2012, but I had to update it and uh, really go through it with a fine tooth comb. So what are people cookers? Blinding lasers and infrasound heart attacks. Um, these are some serious freaking weaponry this is what world war three is going to look like i hope that you'll check out my previous articles on um directed energy weapons on the battlefield new vision for 2025 and the directed energy weapon article section on climateviewer.com more stuff there to check out but we're going to go through this pretty quickly also check out the directed energy weapons page on uh, our uh wikipedia and the Directed energy weapon patents on free patents online link to both of those just to really give you a whole lot to dig into So how does this really work? Well, I found this great patent It's a four nine five nine five five nine and it's pretty amazing what what's written in it I mean you don't read very many patent articles um, That mention Star Trek in them, but this is a great one <laughs> The invention relates generally to the transmission of pulses of energy, more particularly the propagation of localized pulses of electromagnetic or acoustic energy over long distances without divergence. As the Klingon battle cruiser attacks the Starship Enterprise, Captain Kirk commands, Fire the photon torpedoes. Two darts or blobs of light speed towards the target to destroy the enemy spaceship. Stardate 1989? Star Trek reruns or 3189 somewhere in intergalactic space fantasy or reality the ability to launch localized packets of light or energy which do not diverge as they travel great distances through space may incredibly be at hand 1990 following the pioneering work of J.N. Brittingham Various groups have been actively pursuing the possibility that solutions to the wave equation can be found and allow tra transmission of localized, slowly decaying pulses of energy variously described as electromagnetic missiles or bullets, bezel beams, transient beam fields, or splash pulses. But some of us who are familiar with Maxwell um, and scalar technology might want to start using the term that Lawrence Livermore National Lab and the military industrial complex like to call them electromagnetic directed energy pulse trains or EDEPs. Also acoustic directed energy pulse trains or ADEPs. So this is the actual terminology behind the military side of things. Um, backed up by some science papers here. Localized transmission of electromagnetic energy. Lawrence Livermore National Lab. And they mention EDEPT right at the end there. Um, 
So what are these Moscow, um, these microwave directed energy weapons? Well, we're going to go back in time. Um, back in the 50s through 70s, there was something known as the Moscow Signal. And this was uh, basically, you know, America accused Russia of microwaving people in the embassy. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's now come back around. I mean, people have just now heard about the Cuban sonic attacks, um, you know, on the embassy there. And, you know, 20 something individuals who claimed that they got very sick from hearing sounds. Um, and I'm going to explain all that in this video. So here's a couple of those articles. Flashback, Russians beam microwaves at U.S. diplomats and it looks like what happened in Cuba. So that's what's going on today, still today. Um, pretty crazy stuff. So microwave directed energy weapon technology. First up, we have the active denial system. Now this um, uses gigahertz frequency um, technology to basically cook you. Um, many videos about this on YouTube, you can check it out. And uh, basically they, they bounce microwaves off the shield, pointed at you, and it feels like stinging needles on your skin. Um, pretty crazy stuff. There's an actual photo of it. Um, and I've got a bunch of them in here. Vigilant Eagle, check it out, links and details. Bofors HPM Blackout. Looks like a subwoofer from hell, um, but it's actually a microwave energy weapon, um, and it is stated to be not lethal to humans, but I seem to recall, and this, this page has del been deleted from um, BAE Systems um, website. I've got an archive.org link right there that you can check out, um, and the PDF is backed up on climateviewer.com, so you can read all about it. But basically, I heard that this thing was mounted on um, a, what do you call it, uh, like the front of, on a beach. They basically poured cement over top of it, fired it at a battleship, and folded the battleship in half. So I don't know how true that is, but wow, that's a powerful weapon right there. Bofors. Um, then we have the Green Pine Radar. Solar powered satellites. You may not have heard of these. This is what a typical solar powered satellite configuration was supposed to look like. This was from 1968. Um, and what they were talking about was basically making a microwave of doom. And Bernard Eastland in 2008 went to the weather modification conference, planned an inadvertent weather modification conference at the American Meteorological Society like the one I went to this year. And he never made it to the conference because he had a heart attack. And his buddy gave the presentation, which you can watch a video of right here. And in it, he talked about using something called the Thunderstorm solar powered satellite, which is a directed energy weapon based in space to cook um, tornadoes and steer them. Pretty crazy stuff. So watch the video right here. And you can see basically what I'm talking about. Houston Scientific Enterprises Corporation, Houston, Texas, and its co author, B.J. Uh, Eastland. Uh, Mr. Jenkins. And he basically says, you know, it's Lyle Jenkins gives the, the talk because Dr. Bernard Eastland, one of the guys who was behind the HARP um, patents, he you know, basically had to give the speech on his behalf, not understanding it near as well as Dr. Bernard Eastland would have. But regardless, you can watch this video on my YouTube channel, uploaded it several years ago. Um, we have the AESA system right here, and then mobile x-ray back scanner vans, also known as porno scanners. Now these are super creepy. Basically, the FBI and other, you know, three-letter agencies have these x-rays that are mounted in the back of what will look like a U-Haul or, you know, just an unmarked white van. But it has the ability to see through your house or see into other vehicles. Now, if you ever go been to the dentist, you know, they put the lead shield on you and get out of the room when they fire x-rays at you. 
But, you know, if somebody's going to fire an x-ray at your entire house and it's powerful enough to do that, I would imagine that that could be considered a directed, directed energy weapon as well. So I included it. It's from an article that I put up in 2013, 14 incredibly creepy surveillance technologies that Big Brother will be using to spy on you. So check that out. Porno scanner vans, x-raying the hell out of you. Counter Electronics High Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project and Map of Ionospheric Heaters, Missile Defense Radars, and Lasers on Climate Viewer 3D. You can come over there and check that out where you can see all of the different microwaves of doom from around the planet that I've mapped out. The biggest ones being the Ionospheric Heaters, as you can see here. Just click the link and go over there and then jump into the Atmospheric Sensor and EMF Sites and you can see the lasers and directed energy weapons from around the planet. Um, one of the best ones that you might want to check out is this Starfire Optical Pond at Kirtland Air Force Base where they literally have multiple different lasers to shoot at the sky. Um, very powerful stuff. Use them at White Sands Missile Range to shoot down drones. Um, we do all kinds of crazy things with lasers today. So the next section up would be, of course, lasers. So laser weapons, very lengthy list here. I'm not going to go through them individually, but you can check them all out by clicking on each of the pages. Um, got this straight from Wikipedia. I was going to go through and add photos and other links to them, but I mean, I literally spent two hours working on this as it is. So let's just move on past the lasers because I want to get to the important part at the bottom. Also, if you didn't check it out already, um, Fire the Harp, Trump says in his Star Trek uniform, Trump's Space Force and Owning the Weather in 2025, where China and Russia are currently using lasers to disable satellites. So that's directed energy weapons used for anti-satellite purposes. And that's why Trump is creating a space force in America. But this is the, the, the real section of the article that I want to focus on for this video. And it's from something you probably have never heard of. It's called the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Direct Directorate, or JNLWD. So many of these directed energy weapons, for some reason, head scratcher, are considered non-lethal weapons. And it's the friendly war, as they like to put it. So... They're saying that maybe World War III could be more friendly, I guess. But in the end, you know, these are also used to, you know, shut up people like Occupy Wall Street. And they've been used in Ferguson and many different places. Many of you probably heard of an LRAD. Um, police departments literally buying these things. There's an LRAD right there. But these are... Um, long-range acoustic hailing devices. And what they do is... They fire, you know, electricity at you and it is painful to your ears, to your skin, makes you run. There's the active denial system one and two. Showed that a little bit earlier. These are all from a FOIA. You're not going to see this anywhere else. I've checked the internets. Um, and they show right here, heat effects on individuals. It literally is a people cooker. There are great videos of people, military guys, trying to stand in front of this and going, oh my God, and running for cover. So <laughs> it's going to be nasty. That's all I can say. But they have an improved acoustic hailing device, which is even better than the LRAD for military purposes, of course. And, you know, maximum effective range of 300 meters with a threshold of 1,000 meters. Um, it's dangerous stuff you know so these microwave weapons are portable uh, they're usually mounted on top of humvees and tanks and things like that and go on you know environmental effects wind rain and fog can reduce effects okay good to know non-lethal unmanned aerial vehicle high-powered microwave payload uavs carrying high-powered microwave weaponry happens real thing rf vessel stopper 
a microwave to that the Coast Guard can use to shut down a drug runner's boat. Literally, you know, EMP effect, fry all the circuitry, destroy the motor, things like that. Airborne active denial. Same thing as the LRAD except mounted on a helicopter or a drone. Laser based flow modification. A, a F-16, a F-15, you know, a fighter jet, literally flying behind another plane and using lasers to cook the wings, to steer the air and heat the air around the wings to control the flight of another plane. I mean, it's practically a freaking tractor beam. I got this for you in 2013. I can only imagine how far they've come since then. Compact active denial technologies, solid state versions of the stuff you saw earlier makes it, you know, solid state will yield a more compact system by combining the functionality of the existing ADT gyrotron, antenna, subreflector, and beam transport into a single unit that will drastically reduce size, weight, and cost so that they can make it more portable. Ocular interruption. Now, many of you probably seen these green laser beams. Now, these green laser beams can be used very effectively if pointed directly at a person's eye. And the military uses them. They call it ocular interruption. I carry it in my pocket in case somebody wants to get bad. Um, they're going to catch one to the eyeball. But regardless, these are counter personnel weaponry and ocular interruption with dazzler lasers as they're known as they are basically very high powered green lasers and there's actually a law and I have that mentioned up here at the top but I won't go back to it but there's a law prohibiting uh, blinding laser technology it's an international law signed by over a hundred countries Nonetheless, we're developing the weapons. Countermeasures filtered goggles. So I guess you'd have to have some pretty dark goggles on to block that out. But God forbid you had some night vision goggles on when that was fired at you. That might sting. Green lasers, as I just showed you, easily purchasable. Try one out. They're fun. Uh, and they go on to show, you know, how they can be used. Many different ones, GLISS, green, green Laser Interdiction System, many different models there to check through, showing the soldiers using them. Long Range Ocular Interruption. This is green lasers mounted on a tower. Now these have motion detection sensors on them. They could be mounted around bases in the field so that you know, whenever the, you know, infidels are trying to break in, that it'll detect them and literally fire the laser right at, at, in their eyeballs. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. Distributed Sound and Light Array, DSLA, combines sonic weaponry and the lasers. Counter personnel technology, deny access into or out of an area to individuals, more individuals through an area, move th individuals through an area and suppress individuals. DSLA uses combined laser, non-coherent light and acoustic to produce a synergistic engagement system. And as you can see, there's the tower with like an LRAD and a laser all in one. Boy, that's gotta hurt. Nanosecond electrical pulses disable individuals. Now we're getting a little more serious. Force protection crowd control coming to uh, occupy whatever near you. The ability to microwave an entire crowd, detainee operations, patrol convoy building clearing, and other offensive and defensive operation has electromuscular incapacitation, the loss of voluntary muscular control by electrical stimulation. Whoa. And, of course, we've all heard of tasers. Tasers are, you know, not something new, but they're getting pretty powerful. Basically, they've been able to make tasers that are practically lightning bolts over long distances. 
Now this is one you probably haven't heard of. Subsurface non-lethal engagement impulse swimmer gun. A tethered transducer cable connected to a control unit with an air gun and a spark gap generator that emits a directional underwater pulse sound wave. Weight is 50 pounds and effective range is between 0 and 150 meters. Force protection, port security, and prevent unauthorized underwater activities. It'll shock you and crush your skull. Auditory impairment or nausea. Gotta suck. This is another version of that. Not subsurface non-lethal engagement impulse swimmer gun showing the, you know, how that would work. But they also have this one called E-Loud. Enhanced underwater loud hailer. Does similar things, deployment from a pier or vessel for force protection, port security. Uh, it's a big subwoofer underwater. Again, would suck for the swimmer. Effective range, 457 meters. You won't be swimming up to that boat. Multi-frequency RF vehicle stopper. A portable radio frequency vehicle stopper system could allow the, for a maintenance of a safe, non-lethal keep-out zone by using high-powered microwaves to disrupt vehicle engines. Shut your engine down. You're not coming on the base. Multi-frequency RF continued, vehicle stopper continued, showing an, a setup, you know, like here's how you would come in the base, here's where we would deploy them. Oh, we got the green lasers over here too really going to suck for you pre and placed electric vehicle stopper not just your spike strips anymore everything's directed energy yeah frogman killer exactly it's the other one so that's the from all from one foia from the joint non-lethal weapons directorate pretty crazy stuff so i'm going to come now to the sonic weapons ultrasound and infrasound section Articles on the sonic attacks in China and Cuba. How sound can be used as a weapon. What will we know about the possible sonic attacks in Cuba and now China. And computer scientists may have solved the mystery behind the sonic attacks in Cuba. Guess what they blamed it on. Same thing they blamed it on in Moscow. It was espionage equipment malfunctioning as they would say. So it was just a bunch of bugs. The bugs were supposed to be listening and somehow their high frequencies are becoming audible or causing pain. We're not actually doing this as a weapon. We were just spying. So they're trying to explain away the Cuba thing as, you know, it was just spy equipment gone bad. Um, I find that hard to believe given the overwhelming bulk of evidence on how these weapons are used to affect people's health. And I'm going to explain that right now. Acoustic trauma, bio effects of sound. Noise is violence. It disturbs. To make noise is to interrupt a transmission, to disconnect, to kill. Read the paper. It is on archive.org. I have backed it up. Next one up, acoustic weapons, sources, propagation, effects, and strong sound. And as you can see right here, we have different things. Infrasound, low audio, high audio, very high audio, ultrasound. What do they do? How do they work? Respiratory organs, transient vestibule, vestibular effects, eardrum rupture at what decibels, um you know, ear pain, what frequencies they use, all that, blast waves, lung rupture, dang, 210 decibels death. So that can happen, just regular sound, 210 decibels kill you deader than a doornail. Moving along, infrasound effects may affect labyrinths, vertigo, imbalance, resonance in inner organs, heart, with effects up to death infrasound meaning sounds lower than your ability to hear low frequency elf ulf the stuff that heart makes by the way it doesn't make it strong enough from alaska to where you live to kill you but used locally near you 
infrasound can from nonlinear superposition and two ultrasound beams intolerable sensations for riot control in both of these cases um, infrasound incapacitation disorientation nausea vomiting bowel spasms effect ceases when generators turned off no lingering physical damage crowd riot control psychological operations targeted individuals things like that very low frequency noise disorientation vomiting fits bowel spasms uncontrolled defecation you will poop yourself target enemy troops now we're getting serious again third page from this article you can see it right here acoustic weapon sources propagations effects of strong sound that was originally from cornell.edu of course they deleted that as well i backed it up it is on archive.org the link takes you there read the whole paper it's a jaw dropper so they go on to talk about we've done all you know infrasound right here and how that affects people targets hostage rescue now i mentioned High-powered, very low-frequency acoustic beam weapon being developed by, in conjunction with Sarah, ARDEC, and Lawrence Los Alamos National Lab. Phased array setup allows smaller size, about one meter cubed on a small vehicle, smaller later in the future. Discomfort, like standing near an air horn, certain frequencies and intensities protect U.S. Overseas facilities, e.g. embassies, and once again, riot control. So if you guys ever get out of line, boy, they're going to microwave or infrasound the crap out of you. That's their plan. They have the tools. They're available. They have been used in Moscow and Cuba. This is not a drill. This is the real deal. Very low frequency acu acoustic bullet. Emitted from antenna dishes being developed by ARDEC. High-powered, very low-frequency acoustic bullets from 1 to 2 meter antenna dish. High-frequency, non-diffracting acoustic bullets create plasma in front of target baseball-sized acoustic pulse. About 10 hertz, over hundreds of meters, developed in Russia. Selectable from non-lethal to lethal levels. The first one, incremental effects from discomfort to death. Blunt object trauma. These are electromagnetic missiles, bullets, EDEPs. So this is the real real on sonic and microwave weaponry. The end of the article, I have a very lengthy article called The Sonic Weapon of Vladimir Gavro. I am not going to read this to you. You people will have to read. This is one of the best articles I've ever read on the subject and it's fascinating. And it's about a, uh, a group of people who were in a factory and they were making pipe organs. And for some reason, this one organ they made kept making everybody sick and throw up. And this it goes back to where all of this, you know, infrasound weaponry came from. And it, you know, talks about the Cold War and a lot of things. But I just want to skip to this one part because you might find this a little bit fascinating. Ooh, blew it up too much. Let's go back. All right. Sorry about that. We'll get it together. I wanted to make it bigger so you guys can read it. Lethal infrasonic pitch lies in the seven cycle range or seven hertz. Magic number. Small amplitude increases affect human behavior in the, this pitch range. Intellectual activity is first inhibited, blocked, and then destroyed. As the amplitude is increased, several disconcerting responses have been noted. These responses begin as a complete neurological interference. The action of the medulla is physiologically blocked. Its autonomic functions cease. The medulla oblongata in your brain, which you know controls things from breathing to heart rate and all of that Signif significant visual acuity decrements 
are noted in when humans are exposed to infrasound between 43 and 73 cycles per sound intelligibility scores of a person exposed fall to a low 77 percent of their normal scores spatial orientation becomes completely distorted muscular coordination and equilibrium falter considerably depressed manual dexterity and slurred speech have been noted in individuals before individuals black out just before this point, a significant loss of intelligibility is noted. Lots of studies on the sounds, infrasound, all of these weapons, um, you know, how they affect your body. They know. They've been used in Moscow. They've been used in Cuba. And seven, so seven hertz infrasound can kill you, can shut off your breathing, can shut off your heart. These weapons are non-directional. That's about one of the good things about infrasound. Because if you read the section on armor, you'll realize that there really is no protection against infrasound. And the best part about it is, you know, um, if somebody were to try to, you know, use an infrasound weapon, they're likely to kill themselves. So that's why they're developing robots. Because... Robots could carry these infrasound weapons into the battlefield and not die when they turn them on, but everybody else would. Robotic tanks equipped with infrasonic generators could sweep an area with deadly infrasound, destroying all opponents within a five-mile radius. Think about that. So, please read the article. It is Directed Energy Weapons 101. Sonic microwave laser and non-lethal warfare and uh, Get educated on this subject because a lot of people they talk about DEW's light and fires and you know They make a lot of hokey out of it now Could directed energy weapons from space be used to light forest fires? Sure but These are people cookers. They're they're designed to control people. This is our future um there's going to be a whole lot of, you know, investment in these technologies. This is the the latest one, the Chinese weapon that can cook people from up to a mile away. And of course, they're quickly trying to debunk this saying that there's no way China really developed this weapon. But Vladimir Putin said he had a zombie apocalypse weapon that could melt the brains of US troops. These weaponry you know, or widespread, um, being developed as fast as possible, being used to shoot down mortars in mid-flight. They want to shoot down intercontinental ballistic missiles with them. And apparently, if you decide to riot or if you are just at a large gathering and they don't like you, I imagine at some point corporations will just purchase this stuff to get you the hell off the street. So take directed energy weapons very seriously read this article please there's a lot of information on the the technology the health effects and you know some precautions that you can take so please share this around please support continue to support my work um this is something i rarely talk about because it scares the hell out of me personally but I wanted to put this one out there for you guys, and I appreciate you guys staying up late with me. Shout out to everybody in Facebook chat. Love you, mean it. Going to respond to the comments right after I finish this video. And, uh, you know, like I said, sharing is caring. So please share this message um, in the article. Please read it yourself because information is power, and with great power comes great responsibility. And all I ask that you do is remember that when you have this information to attack ideas, not people. And especially don't do it with microwave weapons. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to ClimateViewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember... It would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.